This video covers how to download assets, including charts, graphs, and raw data from the Sapphire web applications, including both Sapphire architecture and Sapphire systems. We cover the Sapphire plugins for SketchUp and Revit in other videos. Once you've done analysis, you often need to present it. One of the advantages of Sapphira is that it makes it easy to produce great looking graphics, either by downloading the graphics that you can see in the web application, or by downloading the raw data so you can create your own visualizations. There is no single place in the web application to export reports. Instead, Sapphira provides the relevant graphics, data, and reports in the corresponding output tab. Also remember that the output tab shows outputs for whatever option is highlighted in the analysis grid at the top of the screen. Let's go through each of the output tabs and look at the available types of assets. We'll start with the Zone Sizing tab. Here, you're able to download a sizing summary that contains all of the data that you see in the rest of the tab, as well as an Energy Plus sizing report. In the Energy Breakdown tab, you're able to download the chart that you see here, as well as the data behind the chart and an Energy Plus sizing report. Now this chart can also be customized in a variety of ways. You can look at use, cost, CO2 production. You can look at the energy by end use or by energy mix. And you can look at results on an annual basis or on a monthly basis. In addition, you're able to create a comparison based upon all of the options that are in the analysis grid at the top of the screen. And of course, once you've customized this chart, you're able to download whatever you see on the screen. In the free area tab, you're able to download the test results uh, on a zone by zone basis. And that will give you a ballpark indication of whether or not you have enough operable glazing in each zone for natural ventilation. In the thermal comfort tab, you can download results in each, from each of the types of comfort outputs. And the results that you can download include the test results, again on a zone-by-zone -zone basis, or the hourly data, that's the results from every hour of the year from every zone. And in the plant sizing tab, you're able to download the Energy Plus sizing report. There's one other output that can be quite useful for folks, and that is the ability to export the IDF file. You can see that in the analysis grid for any of the options at the top. IDF is the Energy Plus input file, which means you can then bring that model into any other Energy Plus based software application that allows you to import IDF files. And that's a great way to transition from the early stage analysis that Sapphira does to more detailed analysis in later stages of design. So that's a quick overview of the types of outputs that you can get out of the Sapphira web application. 